What is wonderful about the word welcome? Welcome to a beautiful thought. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. Thank you for all of those people who are sending me feedback and telling me positive things and telling me that they're sharing with this podcast with their friends. If you feel like sending a message to a friend with a little reason why they should check out this podcast, that would be much appreciated. Let's begin. Welcome, welcome, welcome once again. Welcome with great respect, with great love. I welcome you with all my heart. Welcome is a beautiful word. I like the word welcome. I remember once I invited somebody to come to my house, my friend uh, Claudia. And she got to the threshold of the house and she stopped. And I was like, this is a bit odd. I'm like, Claudia, are you a vampire? <laughs> she said, no, I just want you to welcome me. I just want you to say it explicitly that I can come in. And I thought it a bit funny at the time, but maybe a bit superstitious. But when I reflected on that, I thought that makes a lot of sense. There's a kind of spiritual message there. Like, who really wants to enter somebody's house when they're not welcome? If they don't want you there, it's going to cause a lot of tension. Maybe some bad vibes, some other spiritual stuff, some kind of negative energy. Have you ever been in somebody's house? And you started to get the feeling that you weren't really welcome there, that they didn't really want you there. And you started to get that idea and maybe you felt a little tense in your stomach. And at the same time, you're not sure if you should go or you should leave because maybe it's all in your head. It's not really a pleasant experience. Now, on the other hand, what about when someone makes you certain that you are welcome? They say, come in, take a seat, take the best seat in the house. I remember when my friend Ina and her husband, Lyubo, invited me to their house to stay. They said, you can take the bedroom. And we will sleep on the couch because you are our guest. I said, you know, that's, a, that's not really necessary. I can sleep on the couch. It's fine. They said, no, this is our tradition in Bulgaria. This is the kind of hospitality that we want to offer you. And they were so kind and they would make a huge breakfast. Lyubo fried up <laughs> like a whole, whole dozen eggs <laughs> for breakfast. And I had absolutely no doubts that they wanted me there, that they enjoyed my company. And I was so grateful. When I was in a bus accident outside of Mexico City, or I told this story before, near Temisco, near Cuernavaca, and I got to Mexico City and I said to my friend Alinka, do you think I could stay at your place? And she said, yes, of, of course. And she welcomed me in and she took me to the pharmacy to buy some more gauze and bandages and helped me with the bandages. And I never doubted for a second that I was welcome there. And later she, she was driving me to the bus station or whatever it was. And I said, thank you, Alinka, for, for doing this. And she played it off saying, oh, you know, it's nothing. 
de nada. I said, a link? That, w- that wasn't nothing. <laughs> what you did was amazing. It's really nice to know you're welcome somewhere. And maybe you're fortunate enough that you can return to your hometown and find your parents there. And have a home to go to. Not everyone in this world has a place that they can go back to. If you have a place like that, it's really special. It's a blessing. And bless those homes that welcome those wayward strangers, those wayward travelers. (laughs) those folks who don't know exactly where they're going but for tonight they have a place a warm hearth and a warm bed and maybe some warm hot chocolate thank you so much for listening thank you for showing hospitality Because that's one of the most special things you can do for a person. To let them know that they're (laughs) at home in this world. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. A beautiful thought. Thank you for joining me. If you have any feedback, positive or constructive, then send me an email Kurt at beautifulpodcast.com is the email address. Beautifulpodcast.com is the website. And wonderful is the day. Have a good one. I'll talk to you soon.